Today we're looking at balancing combustion reactions. And the way we do that, the way we approach balancing combustion reactions is oftentimes, or sometimes we'll have to use fractions on oxygen to balance that. Now the idea behind balancing equations would be uh, to adhere to the law of conservation of mass. Mass has to be conserved. Whatever you have on this side of a given element must be the same as the, what you have on the this side, which is the product side of, of the reaction. So you have to count and make sure that you have equal number of carbons, equal number of hydrogens, and equal number of oxygens on both sides of this reaction, separated this by this arrow sign. So when you balance combustion reactions and you're using fractions to do so, what you need to do is find the single element of a give or atoms of a given element, only one of that given element. So in this compound, you're, you see that it's made up of carbon and hydrogen. So it's made up of two given, two elements, different elements. Oxygen has only one ox or one element, even though it's bonded diatomically. Carbon dioxide is bonded with two different elements, carbon and oxygen. Hydrogen or water is bound, uh, bonded by oxygen and hydrogen, so two, two different elements again. So the one substance that you want to use the fraction on is the oxygen because it's only one given element. So like we normally balance, we go back and forth. Sometimes we're not really focusing on one side or the other side. We're really going back and forth to balance in the equation. So the first thing I want to do when I approach balancing is first balance the elements that are least frequent. Your least frequent elements are carbon, because it occurs once here and once here, and hydrogen, once here and once here in two different compounds. Oxygen, on the other hand, is so frequent, you see it occurring here and here in water, so you're really going to balance that last. So you can pick and choose between balancing hydrogen or carbon first. So in doing so, I see carbon listed first, and there's eight of them. So I go over to this side and I put an eight coefficient. And then I count the hydrogens. So there's 18 hydrogens. So I want nine in front of here to make 18 hydrogens. So now I add up my oxygens, 16, two times eight, it gives you 16 oxygen in carbon dioxide and nine oxygen in water. So 16 plus nine gives you 25 oxygens. So here's the dilemma. The dilemma is every whole number that I put in front of here is always going to give me an even number of oxygen, any whole number. But I need an odd number. So the way I'm going to handle this is I'm going to put a fraction. The fraction I'm going to put is 25 over 2. Because 25 over 2 times 2 gives me 25, which is my odd number of oxygens that I'd like to balance out on the product side. So we don't ever put fractions and leave those fractions like that. So we have to find, find out if we, or we have to multiply by a common, the common denominator. So there's the, the only fraction you have here is 25 over two. So the common denominator is two or the common multiple. So two, you multiply everything, all the coefficients by two. In doing so, this is currently a one coefficient. So to multiply this by two, I net, then get a two coefficient in the end. Multiplying this fraction by two, you then get this out of a fraction form and it becomes 25. Multiplying this by two, you get this to be 16 rather than eight. And then multiplying this by two, you get 18. So the coefficients are two, 25, 16, and 18. Notice how we got rid of the fraction as a result of multiplying by the denominator that you see here, which is 2. Okay, so let's go on to the next. This next substance, by the way, this is octane, so you notice 8, oct eight carbons, so it's an octane. Here you have benzene. This is a little difficult to tell the name of, but once you get down here, you'll notice the names a little bit, to be a little bit more familiar. Now you get to this substance. Again, a hydrocarbon with oxygen leading to the formation of carbon dioxide in water. So let's balance this out. 
I'm going to balance the carbon or the hydrogen first. Don't do oxygen. Oxygen is saved for last because it's the most frequent element. So six carbons here. I want six right here. Six hydrogens right here. And I'm going to need a coefficient of three to make my six hydrogens. So add up my oxygens. 12 plus another three gives you 15. So that's 15 oxygens that I need. Again, we're in a dilemma where any number, whole number we put here will give us, will yield an even number of oxygens and we really need an odd number, which is 15 oxygens on this side. So to do this, we put a fraction. The best fraction to get 15 is 15 over two, because if you take 15 halves, multiply by two, you get 15. Again, once again, this equation is, it's got a fraction and we wanna get rid of that fraction so again, there's a one here. So to get rid of it, you multiply this whole equation by two. This gives you two, this gives you 15, 12, and six. So if you check your atoms, it'll be balanced in terms of the carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. So let me have you pause this video right now and go ahead and balance C and D yourself. Hopefully you've be able to balance this equation correctly. Um, and so let's start again. We're gonna start with carbon. Carbon is four, hydrogen is 10. So five on this side of the reaction, on the product side. Now we go to the reactant side. In the reactant side, we notice that uh, the carbon and hydrogen are balanced, but the oxygens are not. So in order to balance the eight plus five, which is 13 oxygens, I need 13 over two. Again, I am going to need to get rid of that fraction, try to make it all whole numbers because our reactions, reactions come as whole numbers oftentimes, not always, but often, more often than not. So multiply everything by two, you get eight here and 10 here. So the ratio is two, 13, eight, and 10. So let's go to the bottom and hopefully pause it and go ahead and try balancing D out if you haven't done so. I'm going to get started right now. So carbon, there's two here and one here, so two coefficient. There's six hydrogens. Notice there's five here plus a one, one hydrogen right here, so there's six. Give me a three coefficient in front of water. Four oxygens plus another three oxygens gives you seven and notice on this side there's an oxygen sitting right here so as much as you want to balance do currently as what you see here in the reactive side you see three and but you need seven in order to balance to the product side so um you really need this to be six because six plus one gives you seven so to make it six, you put a three and a one. So this equation really didn't need fractions. However, I wanted to see, I wanted to see how, I wanted you to see how you can split up some of the equations with alcohols like this one, ethanol. I hope that video helps in terms of balancing combustion reactions using fractions on oxygen to balance it.